The other big news, of course, this afternoon relates to the Australian man Alex Sigley, who's now been released from detention in North Korea. He says he's fine and well. He's touched down in Beijing and will then be heading to Tokyo to meet up with his wife in Japan. The Australian government worked with Swedish authorities to negotiate his release. Smiling and upbeat after an incredible ordeal. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm okay, I'm okay, yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm very good. How do you feel? Great. A media throng greeted Alex Sigley in Beijing airport this afternoon after being released from detention in Pyongyang. So could you explain what happened in Pyongyang? Uh, just leave it for a moment. The image of a seemingly healthy 29-year-old are welcome to relief. It follows a week of uncertainty over his fate and fears he may not be seen again. We're over the moon that he's um, safe and sound, and I'm sure that in the coming days, coming weeks, there'll be some more information about uh, exactly what, what has transpired. Sigley had been living and studying in Pyongyang since 2018, occasionally giving tours of the hermit nation. But concerns were raised with Australian authorities after he hadn't been in touch with friends and family for a week. The Swedes were his saviour. Swedish diplomats brokered his release and safe passage to China. This outcome demonstrates the value of the discreet, behind-the-scenes work of officials in resolving complex and sensitive consular cases in close partnership with other governments. I'm sure we all could not be more pleased that we not only know where Alex is, but we know he is safe. Brent O'Halloran, Sky News.